Right now, I'm gonna take you into comfort land. And that's of course with the iconic Bose QuietComfort 15. This is a notorious headset if you've ever been in an airport in your life. And uh, that is why we of course have to do something on this headset on our new platform when we've uh, started involving gear into our everyday Beals and Neals. So therefore you get a unboxing of the Bose QuietComfort 15. The Bose QuietComfort 15 is uh, probably one of the most iconic acoustic noise cancelling headsets in the world or probably just the most or probably just one of the most iconic headsets ever basically so when looking at the, the case of this uh, good old beast it looks uh, pretty decent I'm not a big fan of how they've chosen to pack this product up but who cares you're gonna pack it out either way you got this foam stuff here use it for nothing and here looks so good and blue and then here you get snacks, free snacks. Eat them if you want. Uh, they're super, super good. Uh, it's almost like gum, except you die for them, so don't eat them. What are you thinking about? Can't eat that stuff. And just to show you what's inside of the case before we get to the real price of the unboxing. Manuals, <laughs> as if. And of course, the headset. Which comes in this uh, light travel case. When I've been using it, I have not been using the case. I mostly just store them in it when I'm home and not traveling. And this is my number one preferred travel headset. And let me just show you what's inside. If we turn it around before doing anything, they've implemented this in each uh, case. It's called a courtesy card, which I just choose to call a douchebag card, seeing as it says, the quiet comfort 15. People tell us it's super awesome. So please share this card with your friends. Tell them it's awesome to buy it. So they pretty much believe in themselves so much that they think that you should tell your friends because they know they're good, which is a very douchey attitude. But when you have a douchey-licious product, it's okay to some extent. Let's get out the headset. I'll get back to that in a second. And here, when you empty uh, this plastic of all its belongings, you can of course store it if you choose to travel with it in this uh, little bag that you can also just take out, which is really nice to put in uh, your own bag. But as I just said, I mostly just use this at home for storage. Along with the headset, it comes with a, a AAA battery, which it uses one of to give you about 35 hours of music or video or whatever you're gonna do listening uh, in the headset, or maybe just quiet when you're flying, which I'll get back to in a second. I'll pop that one in in a second. Also gives you uh, this uh, flight adapter, which goes into the seat in the airplane, which is really nice seeing as normally you get this raggedy ass headset from the plane company itself. Besides that, it of course comes with a mobile cable, which uh, lets you connect this to your mobile device of choice. Loads of plastic. And uh, this big fella is uh, the one that you plug into the headset. I'll do that in a second. The controller on it also has a microphone, so you can of course uh, call your friends and use it for those kind of things as well. But mostly, uh, of course, just to listening to audio. Also comes with a regular audio cable, uh, which is just the same as this one, except it doesn't have all the fancy things that makes it possible to call your friends. So we'll leave it over here. But uh, this is pretty much the basics that you're gonna be using a whole lot. And uh, as I said, this is my preferred headset for flying. And uh, why it is that is, of course, the active uh, noise cancellation, or as fancy as they call it, acoustic noise cancellation. And uh, how they achieve that, I'll tell you in a second. This is where you pop in the battery, which is, uh, in my opinion, a really smart way of storing it. Uh, the minus is, however, that it uses AAA batteries. I would have loved if it had a battery pack, so I could have two or three or four, uh, because right now I've never been so heavily involved in owning AAA batteries for some reason. Um, but besides that, it's super easy to connect your uh, your cable of choice, goes right in, boop, and you just turn it on and it lights up and it's ready to go. The one biggest minus about this headset is you have to have a battery inside to be able to use it at all, which uh, is a pretty big deal, seeing as if you run out of battery, well then your headset to a lot of money is pretty much useless until you get your hands on a new battery. So say if you're in flight, that's not gonna be good. And that's why I'm always stocked up on AAA batteries. But the, the headset itself, it feels so extremely comfortable to have on. The ear cups, 
they have a lot of space inside, which makes sure that uh, you can have your ears inside of them, except you have crazy ears. If you have ears sticking out all over the place, I can't promise you this. But in my opinion, uh, they can just stay on my head and um, I can relax seeing as they don't put any pressure on my ears, which uh, in my opinion is what gives me the greatest headaches when using a headset for longer periods of time. It also has uh, these leather cushions, which makes for the passive noise cancellation, seeing as it blocks automatically or just naturally in the product, seeing as it's leather, it blocks out sounds. Uh, so it takes some of it, but, uh, but of course, the biggest achievement is the acoustic noise cancellation, which is done through um, different microphones. It has microphones on the inside, has microphones on the outside, which um, pretty much registers what sound there is around you. So say if you're in a plane and you're listening to music, well then it knows that it's not supposed to block out the music you're listening to, but except the noise around it. Also, if you just wear them, like I do most times when I fly, just to get the silence of it, it removes uh, all of that just by figuring out that, hey, you want it to be quiet, let me make it quiet for you. And the soundscape in it, just in general, no matter what I do, is excellent. And that is, of course, why you pay the big price as well, except for the noise cancellation in itself. But the sound quality is so good, not too much bass, it's just perfectly balanced, it's just a great experience to whatever it is you choose to do with the headset. Right now it's available online at their homepage and uh, it is ranged from between 269.95 and that is for this regular version of the QC15. You can also customize it all you want in regards to color. Say if you wanna murder it out and do it all black, well then you can do that, but that will cost you some extra money seeing as it's gonna end up at almost $400 with uh, 399.95. So all in all, the best travel headset you will ever own at least in this period of time. They've also made an in-ear version, which we probably will get into later. But uh, as for headset, this is amazing and uh, a great achievement. So are you sitting in a noisy environment or just would like good sound and silence around you? This is the headset for you. And if you travel a lot, if you don't have one of these, well, then you're doing something wrong. Check out business class the next time you fly. Notice if everyone is sitting with them. Yes, they are. This is why. Let us know in the comment section below if you enjoy this headset or would like to enjoy it or just enjoy yourself. And also remember to like and subscribe if you like what we're doing here on Pixel TV. Bye.